Welcome, welcome back. Um, this is day number two of the 12 days of living a magnetic life. Um, so if you watch the video for day number one, I was talking about inner language um, as one of the 12 steps. Uh, but today um, is actually this beautiful practice and, you know, the, and I think I said in, in um, the first um, tip or day number one was these are methods that I have used. These are not just things that I've written, you know, read out of a book and then I'm offering them to you. These are actual steps and tips that I have used. And, you know, my life has completely changed. I have transformed, you know, the, the identity of who I thought I was. And these are some of the methods that, you know, I've used and I am offering to you today. So day number two is the magic of Ho'oponopono. You know, sometimes I have a, a kind of a difficult time pronouncing that, but this is one, you know, all these steps are really have changed my life. And I, and I know that I'll say that throughout these 12 steps, um, but this is actually a Hawaiian practice um, of reconciliation and forgiveness, you know, forgiving ourselves within, you know, when that, and I always go back to that inner child, but the inner child really is the one that is running the show. So if that child feels loved and feels happy, then you as the adult will also feel that way. And if you see me looking down, I have notes because I want to make sure that I, um, you know, get, you know, get to you all the things that I'm trying to um, offer in these 12 days. So I just want to make sure. So I have, I have some notes. So Ho'oponopono is this Hawaiian practice of reconciliation and forgiveness. And I use this method um, to start speaking to myself in a different way. There are actually four phrases um, that when you're, you know, kind of in a quiet, um, you know, quiet space, whether you're meditating or pausing for a moment, if you say four things, um, it will actually change the vibration within you. And, you know, if you just want to, if you're, if you're watching me now, you can just kind of close your eyes and kind of connect to that little, um, little girl, little boy, um, inside of you. Uh, we all have an inner child. And the four phrases are, and it's as if you are speaking to the child within you. And those phrases, if you're just kind of take a deep breath and just kind of sit quietly and listen to the vibration of these words is the first is, I'm sorry. And when, when you, sorry, when you do this um, with yourself, maybe put your hand, you know, over your heart, um, you know, just so that you can actually feel that you are connected to, you know, your heart and heart is all about love. So if you, if you just say these words with me is I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And I'll say them, I'll say them again, repeat them again. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you and I love you. So if you say those, you know, if there's something that you've been judging yourself about, you know, whether it's, you know, something about your body or whether it's something about something that you haven't accomplished um, and you start judging yourself, um, when there's any kind of judgment, you, you actually catch yourself and actually apologize. You know, I am sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. And it really changes the frequency that you have within yourself. And when we are, are trying to open to receiving, when you feel love inside of you, because I think those four phrases have the vibration of love to it, everything starts to change. Because what blocks you from receiving is, again, like I said in day one, um, are, you know, is that negativity that, you know, you're judging and, you know, you, you, why can't you do this? And I hate my body. It has a negative vibration to it. So the more you catch yourself 
um, with this practice and you just say, I am sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. It changes the vibrations. It opens your heart to you know, what is coming to you. So that is day two um, of living your magnetic life. Um, and again, this, these are all practices, you know, some, some of, some of these, um, practices that I'll be sharing with you, some may, may, may not resonate and some may be really something that you want to try because, you know, we're going to get to day 12, which is taking inspired action. So these are just some, some, like I said, some, you may not use at all. Some you will use all the time. But um, ho op, oponopono um, is one of the things that really has changed the vibration. Remember the feeling you have, not the words that you speak, you know, out, outside, but the feeling that you have inside will become your magnet. So day two. So thank you so much for you know watching this video and stay tuned for day three tomorrow. Thank you so much.